Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be setting up my teacher planner that I'll be using as a social media planner. So as you saw in a few videos ago, I went ahead and did a flip through of this teacher planner and I plan to use it as a social media planner. And what I was thinking is that this doesn't start until August and not July, like the new ones will be starting. And so I just am not patient enough. And so I saw the other day on Stephanie Fleming's stories that she mentioned that if you turn to June 2020, the monthly views start as July 2019. So there's not going to be a lot of redating for me in the monthly view because I had mentioned that I was going to be putting the days of the week up on top so I'll be redating the weekly views anyway so that really didn't matter to me but the monthly view did this is where I'll be putting all of my information for the month as far as my social media planning goes and so this is going to be important and this is exactly what I'm eager to start using too and so I was thinking that I could just switch this over to the front and start using that and so that is exactly what I'll be doing but I went ahead and picked out the silver metal disc and I actually haven't used silver metal disc since I started planning which was about a year ago so it was nice to bring them back out and I did purchase this snap-on cover as well and I will be putting into this one so let's go ahead and start by removing the front and the back and this makes it easier for me to go ahead and switch the discs over I know I've seen a lot of people open it and then start putting the disc but for me this is a faster way of doing that so I've been doing it like this for a while and I find that it's the easiest and let's see one more and then I'll go ahead and open it and now both of the covers are on so now what I want to do is take out June and transfer it over to the beginning so I have always been so good about waiting till the planner actually starts but for some reason I couldn't wait for this one so just how to make it work and actually I also need to add the front pages to it where all the where the year at a glance is so let me do that real quick as well there we go so then we have the academic calendar and then this right here for the important dates and then we'll start July in June of 2020 so let me go ahead and transfer all of the other months
All right, perfect. So let me just go ahead and add this bookmark right over here. All right. And also what I want to do is add the snap-on cover as well. So I went ahead and added the cover, but I wanted to show you something. With these covers, they tend to not lay flat. So I learned this trick from the paper and pen girl. So check her out if you haven't already, where she does a hack to where these snap-on covers lay flat on your planners. And I went ahead and did it to my mini already. So see, this one's not bouncing back at me and it just lays there flat. It doesn't open and it just lays there flat. And so I wanted to show you as well, just in case you didn't know this hack. And so let me go ahead and take this off. I had just put it in to show you, but let me take it off and I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and took them off. And the reason these don't lay flat is because of the design of the punch itself. So what you wanna do is grab your hole punch just like this, and you wanna line it up to the very edge of where that curve is. And you want to go ahead and punch it. There we go, so then it gives you that rounded punch, not the mushroom type that the Happy Planner has. So it gives you that round punch, and then what you also wanna do is widen the slit right there. And so you just wanna widen it the slightest bit. You don't wanna cut too much off just because then it won't be able to grip. And that is exactly what you want to do to the rest of them. So let me go ahead and show you one more time and then I can get to it. And so you want to line it up to the very edge of that shape and punch it. And then you want to make the slit a little tiny bit wider. There, and it cuts very easily. You're not struggling with it. It'll cut just off easy. So let me go ahead and keep punching the rest of them. Okay, so I went ahead and cut all of them. You could see that they are a round punch now. And I did make the slits a little tiny bit wider and now it should just lay flat on your planner. So let's go ahead and put it on. Perfect, so let's see. And do you see, it doesn't swing back and it just lays flat. It doesn't, it's not swinging back, it just lays there flat. Just like in my mini, nothing is bouncing back at me. So yeah, make sure you're following the paper and pen girl. And I had to try it for myself and that is why I tried it on my mini first. And of course, now that I have the classic as well, I had to try it out so i love that and as you can see june of 2020 is now up at the front and i can start using it once july starts which is in a couple of weeks like i cannot believe we are in july already and so i can go ahead and use this and since i'm going to be switching out the days of the week to up here I wasn't really too worried about this anyway but if you were to use it like this then you'd be all set because July 1st is on a Monday so you would just have to change the June up here on the pages and on the monthly as well to say July 2019 but for me it's not a big deal so the way I was thinking of probably covering these up on the side is to just use sticker paper. I am excited to get this started now that I have set it up and I'm good to go. And I'm just ready to dive into this layout and see if it works for me as a 
social media planner. So if you like this video, please consider subscribing and don't forget to check me over on Instagram at Stephanie Happily Plants. And I'll see you next time.